Oh boy. After yesterday's event, Twitch is not doing so well. Um, now, I'm going to give my honest take on Twitch. And I'm not talking about since yesterday. I'm talking about in general, at least now. Um, I've been doing Twitch since 2017. Um, and... I haven't been really consistent on there as much, but I will say I've been slowly trying to grind out that much for a bit, and I've been just chilling on a few, uh, like a few 200 followers. Not too serious, really. And um, personally, for me, uh, I'm not surprised that Twitch has been like going downhill for a while. I mean, that's not really surprising to me at all. Um, but I will say this, um, personally, I've always said, like, the platform itself has, like, declined as of late, only because of the fact that, one, there were so many things that shifted the changes of Twitch and how they look at things, because of, not only because of a business standpoint, because it's not only just that, it's because of the fact that, they have literally gotten so tired of trying to balance out creators on the Twitch platform. It's almost like they literally don't really know who to listen to because, and I kind of see that to a certain degree because there should be certain times where people have literally like given them shit about um, certain content creators that shouldn't be on the platform. There's that in cancel culture, but a lot of people have had so many years of content creators that have not only kind of benefited the platform, but also killed the platform to a certain degree. So there's a balance between them both. And that balance has eventually broke. And now Twitch is not really reconciling with everybody especially the twitch streamers and it's not really surprising and that's my personal thought um and i will say this right now to make it very very short because i'm not gonna talk too long on twitch right or about twitch right now for the next three years at least i'm gonna stay on twitch but once I got everything sorted, I'm going to be moving myself to kick um, after the next three years because I realize I'm not going to be able to actually keep the platform that I'm on if I'm streaming on both platforms. So as of right now, I'm preparing my leave from Twitch to kick as of right now and as i'm doing that leave i want to make want to make sure that everybody is supportive of my opinion because um it's very tough for me to move off of twitch as of right now it, it's it's kind of hard because one i don't have the right setup for this two i need to make sure that i have all the right equipment in order for me to move to kick so i have to make sure that that is very very clear and then three i have a ton of things to say to the people that i've actually um had basically like twitch coordination with um so um basically koopa troop i still need to talk to them about like Hey, I'm probably going to be like moving out of off the platform soon because of the fact that I can't do everything right now. And in the next three years, it's going to be really difficult to put me back into the same place that I am in on Twitch. So it's going to be tough. So as of right now, I'm just trying to just keep everything spacious and focus on everything that I can do right now and do everything in the future. So 
but yeah, um, all I gotta say is that, like, yeah, Twitch is just, has always made, like, their own downfalls, as they always have, um, they've had their fair share of issues, which I'm not really surprised by at all, and the fact that they're literally trying to drag their own platform now, it's not really surprising at all, I, I, Always set this shit, so it is what it is. But yeah, um, but that's about it. Um, thank y'all for tuning in to this video. Um, this has been that guys. Later.